It's Box Office Drunk! Here's your host, Kate Gabrielle. Hello and welcome to Box Office Draw. This is a weekly movie trivia game show where the only contestant is you. That's right, you can play Box Office Draw right now at home in your pajamas. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, here's how it will work. I will ask questions and then you will have between 20 and 30 seconds before I reveal the answer and move on to the next question. There are four rounds. The first round is basic trivia with multiple choice answers. In the second round, title cards, I will present you with a release date and synopsis, and you will have to guess the movie title. In our double feature round, you'll have to guess two movie titles based on a clue. And in the final nitrate fire round, you'll have 30 seconds to name as many items as possible for each of five prompts. If you want to keep track of your score, you can download our free printable scorecard using the link in the description box below. And if you want to compare scores with fellow players, just use the hashtag box office draw game on Twitter. Without further ado, let's get started. In this round, you'll have 20 seconds to respond to each question. Each correct answer counts as one point. Ready? Here we go. Number one, Ingrid Bergman won Academy Awards for her performances in three films. Which of the following was not one of those films? A, Gaslight, B, Anastasia, C, Joan of Arc, or D, Murder on the Orient Express? And the answer is C, Joan of Arc. Number two. Which of the following films was an inspiration for the Jungle Cruise ride at Disneyland? Was it A, Tarzan the Ape Man, B, The African Queen, C, The Most Dangerous Game, or D, The Asphalt Jungle? And the answer was B, The African Queen. Number three, which of the following notable film actresses originated the role of Fran Dodsworth in Dodsworth on Broadway? Was it A, Gladys Cooper, B, Edna Mae Oliver, C, Faye Bainter, or D, Spring Byington? And the answer was C, Faye Bainter. Number four, Gregory Peck and Ava Gardner co-starred in three films together. Which of the following films does not feature both stars? Was it A, Mirage, B, On the Beach, C, The Snows of Kilimanjaro, or D, The Great Sinner? answer was A, Mirage. Number five, which actor played the title character in the 1931 film Frankenstein? Was it A, Bella Lugosi, B, Dwight Fry, C, Boris Karloff, or D, Colin Clive? And the answer was D, Colin Clive. Bit of a trick question there for you. <laughs> Number six, the 2006 Pixar film Cars was the final acting performance of which classic Hollywood star? Was it A, James Garner, B, Joey Bishop, C, Paul Newman, or D, Glenn Ford?
And the answer is C, Paul Newman. Number seven, which of the following films was not directed by David Lean? Was it A, Summertime, B, A Bridge Too Far, C, Oliver Twist, or D, Ryan's Daughter? answer was B, A Bridge Too Far. Number eight, William Holden served as the best man at the wedding of which two movie stars? Was it A, Ronald Reagan and Nancy Davis? B, Frank Sinatra and Ava Gardner? C, Audrey Hepburn and Mel Ferrer? Or D, Rita Hayworth and Dick Hames? answer was A, Ronald Reagan and Nancy Davis. Number nine, this actor was originally slated to star in 1942's I Married a Witch, but passed on the script because, quote, life's too short for two films with Veronica Lake. Is it A, Alan Ladd, B, Joel McRae, C, Robert Preston, or D, Eddie Bracken? answer was B, Joel McRae, although they ended up working together again anyway in 1947's Ramrod. Number 10, which actress was given the nickname the Queen of Technicolor? Was it A, Betty Grable, B, Lucille Ball, C, Maureen O'Hara, or D, Esther Williams? answer is C, Maureen O'Hara. Number 11, which of the following actresses was offered the role of Mrs. Robinson in the 1967 film The Graduate, but turned it down because it was, quote, vulgar and offensive? Is it A, Loretta Young, B, Ginger Rogers, C, Jane Wyman, or D, Doris Day? is D, Doris Day. Number 12. What Hollywood legend played Jean Tierney's daughter in the 1947 film The Ghost and Mrs. Muir? Is it A, Shirley Temple, B, Margaret O'Brien, C, Natalie Wood, or D, Elizabeth Taylor? answer is C, Natalie Wood. Number 13. Which wisecracking classic Hollywood actress played a memorable role in both Grease and Grease 2? Is it A, Joan Blondell, B, Patsy Kelly, C, Glenda Farrell, or D, Eve Arden? answer is D, Eve Arden. Number 14. Which actors co-starred in the 1939 film The Ice Follies of 1939? Is it A, Dick Powell and Ruby Keeler, B, James Stewart and Joan Crawford, 
C, Clark Gable and Merle Oberon, or D, Sonia Henney and Tyrone Power. is B, James Stewart and Joan Crawford. Number 15. Which of the following movies was not nominated for an Academy Award for Outstanding Motion Picture in 1944? Is it A, The Oxbow Incident, B, The More the Merrier, C, Destination Tokyo, or D, The Song of Bernadette? is C, Destination Tokyo. Now let's move on to the title card round. I will reveal a movie's release year and synopsis, and you will have 30 seconds to guess the movie title. Each correct answer will count for two points. Here we go. Number one, this 1939 film is about a stern Russian woman sent to Paris on official business who finds herself attracted to a man who represents everything she is supposed to detest. Answer is Ninochka. Number two, this 1936 film is about a man who owns a gas station and is about to marry, but when he travels to the small town where his fiance lives to visit her, he is wrongly mistaken for a wanted kidnapper and arrested. answer is Fury. Number three, in this 1947 film, a severely catatonic woman who is found wandering the streets of Los Angeles tells a doctor the complex story of how she wound up there. And the answer is possessed. Number four. In this 1949 film, a scientist discovers a formula that enables a baseball to be repelled by wood. He promptly sets out to exploit his discovery. The answer is, it happens every spring. Number five. This 1958 film tells the story of a modern day witch who likes her neighbor but despises his fiance. So she enchants him to love her instead only to fall in love with him for real.
sponsor is Bell Book and Candle. It's time now for double features. You'll have 30 seconds to guess titles based on my clues. Each correct answer will count for two points. Let's begin. Number one, name the two movies that Gene Arthur and Gary Cooper co-starred together in 1936. Answer is The Plainsman and Mr. Deeds Goes to Town. Number two, can you name the two movies that Alfred Hitchcock made with British actress Nova Pilbeam? The answer is The Man Who Knew Too Much and Young and Innocent. Number three. In the 1960s, Doris Day and Rod Taylor teamed up for which two films? The answer is Do Not Disturb and The Glass Bottom Boat. Number four. In 1949, Judy Garland and Van Johnson co-starred in a remake of a 1940 film that starred James Stewart and Margaret Sullivan. Name the first film and the title of the remake. The answer is The Shop Around the Corner and In the Good Old Summertime. Number five, which two films co-starred Jean Harlow and William Powell? The answer is Liabled Lady and Reckless. We've reached the Nitrate Fire Round! In this round, there are no wrong answers. Just name as many items as you can before the time is up. Each item that you name counts for one point. Ready? Here we go! Number one. List as many actors named Robert as you can in 30 seconds. Number two, list as many Betty Davis films as you can think of in 30 seconds.
Number three, you have 30 seconds to list movies that take place on a boat. Number four, you have 30 seconds to name movies with a number in the title. Number five, list as many films with a one word title as you can think of in 30 seconds. And that's our show. I hope you enjoyed this first episode of Box Office Draw, and I'll see you again next week. Until then, so long. This episode was brought to you by Kate Gabrielle, with technical assistance from her entire family. A special thank you to Emma Wallace for the theme music and sound effects. Movie synopses were sourced from Letterboxd.com. And thank you to Kyle Edwards for providing our voiceover. Wait, that's me. This video was made possible thanks to our Patreon supporters. You can support us, too, at patreon.com slash Gabrielle. And we hope you'll join us next week for more Box Office Draw!